Okay. So let me get your name again. Adam so, Abel. Adam Abel. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Like, like first, yeah. Yes. Father, son. <laughs> That's me. And then it's Garrett Batty. Garrett Batty. Batty. Garrett Batty. Garrett Batty. Okay. Um, my name is Chooks Inne. Chooks. Yeah. Chuk, one more time. Chooks Inne. In Chooks. It. Yeah. Chooks Inne. So Adam Abel. Very easy. His name is Biblico. Adam Abel is the first family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it rest that way. And you're Garrett. Garrett Batty. Garrett Batty. All right. Second uh, family. Second family. Garrett, 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 Garrett Batty. Okay, so basically we were talking about the movie yeah. in, in Africa. Yeah. You know, what motivated you guys to go into this movie? Um, how is your reaction like so far? You know, and it will be spontaneous. So things are Yeah, that will be great. Do you totally understand what's coming up from my mouth? Yes. Sure. Good, yes. good, good. All right, um, my people out there, this is Chooks Inne, and today we are very lucky to run into the producers of Free Town Movie. Free Town Movie is produced by Adam Ebel and Garrett Buddy. Am I right? Well done, well done, yep. <laughs> All right, let, let's start with you, Adam. What motivated you to go into this movie? Well, first of all, Garrett, um, as the writer-director, found the story, and when he came and pitched it to me, I, I immediately thought, I, I want to see a movie like this, and I want to be a part of this. And I'm honored that he invited me to the table and allowed for he and I to partner up and go make this movie. Um, usually, movies that are made here in Africa or in Ghana and Nigeria doesn't take much time, doesn't take much. Was it easy for you to make this movie? No, no. It was a tough movie to make, but I think every project should be, you know, because we're trying to raise the bar. We want to show an audience something they haven't seen before. And I knew that that was something that Adam could do and our screenwriter uh, put together a story that's absolutely phenomenal. Now, I know you, you did um, Saratov, or which Saints one? And Soldiers. Saints and Soldiers. Saints and Soldiers. And um, you did the Saratov I, approach. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. That one's Russian-based. We shot it over in Ukraine, right. In, in Ukraine. And your Saints and Soldiers is from where? It, well, it's World War II, but we shot it in the United States. Now, and it's all Latter-day Saint-based movies? Uh, they're certainly inspired by characters that are, happen to be Latter-day Saints, certainly. The same thing with yours. Yeah, it has Latter-day Saints in it, but it's a movie for everybody. It's, it's more about survival and courage. Um, and so it can be applied to anybody. So, so is that what connected the two of you together, Adam? Well, I've 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 known Garrett for a long time. He's he's worked uh, he's worked behind the scenes a long time, and I I've uh, been able to watch the Saratov approach and how it just took off and saw tremendous success. And so, uh, certainly excited to be able to finally work with him. Now, the casting, because you're coming down from the United States. You know how we're able to get the crew together. Yeah, we we didn't know we didn't know if we'd be able to find the talent or the locations or not. So when we came down back in July, we held an audition, and we had over 125 people come show up for the audition. And watching those people come in and seeing the level of talent that was here, we went away knowing that we were going to be able to shoot a film with a full Ghanaian cast and crew, and it was perfect. Now this movie. Is about Sierra Leone and, and Liberia, right? So the story is based on actual events that occurred in Liberia. So about uh, about missionaries that were in Liberia during the conflict, the early war years of the conflict in 1989, their efforts to escape the, the war-torn and civil unrest and protect themselves as well as one of their own who was a member of a tribe that they were the rebels were trying to kill, and their efforts to get from Liberia to Sierra Leone, Freetown, in, for safety. Now, did you consider that the accent of Liberians is different from Ghanaians and Nigerians? You know, and I think our we certainly did consider that. And one of the neat things is that some of our actors are Liberian oh. and had experience with the Civil War. And so on set, they were able to contribute their knowledge and experience to help us be accurate to the story, what we we're trying to portray. Now, so, did, yes. sorry, to that point, it was yes. unique because in addition to our cast, we also had some extras that were actually Liberian uh, by birth and were displaced and were refugees here and kept here and they came and participated in the film and it was interesting to see their reaction to being on set and them nodding their heads and like yeah this is what it's like and bringing back kind of emotion and feeling of remembering what it was like to be in Liberia during that time. You know you did a great movie, you did a great movie without collaborating and this is a collaborated effort. So. This movie is going to be different from what, <laughs> you know, tell me, how, what do you think this movie is going to become? Well, we, we certainly want to raise the bar on, on what we've done in the past. And we said, look, if, if we're going to invite an audience to see this movie, it needs to be as good as anything else they've seen. So that's our goal. Now, final question. Um, you came down with some equipment to help you 
with the production. Um, how did you discuss with the customs or you know to bring in this equipment? Sure. So we we hired a local production company, I60 Productions, and they helped facilitate through customs us bringing equipment into the country. We brought a lot of camera equipment. The majority of our grip electric equipment was rented here through Jungle Films, and then we hired some sound people here, and the rest of our cast and crew were hired here. So I60 Productions, which is a locally uh, based production company, was instrumental in helping us accomplish what we did. Now, even though I said final question, I don't think that was my final question, because I wanted to find out what has this movie taught you? You know, this is the first time you're working closely with Africans, and originally there was a book that was written, right? Uh, there were some letters. Yeah, it was based on some letters okay. that were written from the missionaries. Okay. And as far as what it's taught me, I mean, make it, we talked about making the movie was, it was a difficult process. It's kind of parallel to the story where what these guys went through, these missionaries that were escaping Liberia, every day they went through some challenges. And yet, if they, if they had faith, uh, they, could, they could endure those challenges. And that movie, is, this, the making the movie has taught me that, where, where I surrounded myself with wonderful, wonderful people in a beautiful location. And together, we were able to overcome any production challenges and put together a story that's pretty powerful. Thank you very much. I've been talking to Adam Ebel or Ebel Adam, Adam and Ebel. yes, and Garrett Buddy. They are the producers of the Free Time Movie. Free Time Movie is produced here in Ghana. Actually, it was shot in Ghana. Yes. And it's about uh, some missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who were proselyting in Liberia. Yeah. And during the Civil War, they wanted to escape and the challenges they had. They are premiering the movie today here in Silver Bay in Accra Mall. And for those of you that are not able to watch this movie, don't worry, the DVD will still come out, and I know it's going to be an interesting movie. Thank you for watching. It's a can cool like a cardigan. Peter Pan, Peter this a girl. This a girl can cool like a cardigan. Uh -huh. Peter Pan, Peter this a girl. This a girl can cool like a cardigan. Uh -huh. Peter Pan, Peter this a girl. This a girl can cool like a cardigan. Uh -huh. This a girl make a pele like a Peter Pan. Uh -huh. Me a get a hit like a bawe cardigan. Uh -huh. This a girl show me love before me love me never see. For the winter by me feel like a de hammer uh -huh. This a girl make a pele like a Peter Pan. Uh -huh. Me a get a hit like a bawe cardigan. Uh -huh. This a girl show me love before me love me never see. For the winter by me feel like a de hammer tan. This a girl pretty for me like a cracula. Picks the love the all run up faster than the can go uh -huh. Yeah, skin color got me a love fever. Uh -huh. Only pretty girls so them the pan Africa. Uh -huh. Me, 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 I got a girl with the caliban. A girl not a pleasure, but so can dance in Runa. Uh -huh. Came stronger like a dali theater. Come to the ghetto and get a me the flavor. Uh -huh. From a cover, me a boy with your cardigan. My not to water them a shan in the caravan. Uh -huh. From a cover, me a boy with your cardigan. My I'm not water than my yarn in a caravan. This a girl make a feel like a Peter Pan. Uh -huh. Me a get a hit like a bawe cardigan. Uh -huh. This a girl show me love before me love me never see. For the winter by me feel like a de hammer tan. Uh -huh. This a girl make a feel like a Peter Pan. Uh -huh. Me a get a hit like a bawe cardigan. Uh -huh. This a girl show me love before me love me never see.